The Department of Budget and Management expects President Rodrigo Duterte to sign the 2022 General Appropriations Act anytime between December 25 to 29. Senate President Vicente Soto III, meanwhile, says he will sign the enrolled bill tomorrow before transmitting to the president for his signature scheduled on the 28th. While citing an information from the Presidential Legislative Liaison Office, Senate Committee on Finance Chairperson Sonny Angara earlier said the chief executive will sign the budget on December 27 to access the calamity funds. Angara noted that 20 billion pesos was allocated under the calamity fund for next year, while 7 billion pesos was placed under the president's contingency fund. Ang reason I think kaya minadali ng konti ito is uh, dahil nga dito sa nangyari sa Typhoon Odette uh, para January uh, pagpasok ng bagong taon, meron ng pondo para uh, gastusin. Especially yung calamity fund, very urgent yan. Acting Budget Secretary Tina Rose Maricanda says 6 billion pesos of the 10 billion peso aid to areas severely hit by Typhoon Odette will be coming from next year's budget. 2 billion pesos is already available under the NDREAMF, which is uh, the long name of Calan Fund. The next 2 billion will uh, is available under the President's Contingent Fund. And the remainder of the 6 million will uh, be available in a couple of days once the GAA or the General Appropriations Act is signed for 2022. Meanwhile, the Metro Manila Council also approved a resolution approving a 100 million peso supplemental fund for disaster relief in the ravaged areas. The palace expresses its gratitude to Metro Manila mayors as well as the international communities for extending help and support to typhoon victims.